Hi, it's Bridget. How are you? Oh, it is Sunday and I am reflective this morning. I am thinking of where I was last Sunday. At this time, I was at the Magic Kingdom. Yes, that theme park in Orlando, Florida and Walt Disney World. And if you know me, even a little, you know that I have a thing for Disney. I love the creativity, the innovation, the just the feeling of all that goes into making ideas manifested. That's what Disney is to me. And I love that expression. I just, I love how it feels there. So this time last week, that's exactly where I was. And so I'm reflective this morning. I'd like to talk to you about magic. Magic. Magic isn't just something that comes from illusion, from a fancy trick, or a, a craft or art form. It's not a show or entertainment, but rather magic is something that we can choose to express or to receive. So it's both something that we can share and something that we produce within us and we can share it outwardly with others, with the world, etc., through various venues or avenues. And we can choose to receive magic. So I'm gonna ask you this question, where are you with your magic? Right here, right now, are you feeling more along the lines of receiving magic? Tapping into, connecting to the world around you and what is available to you that is magical or has promise of some magic? Or are you at a place, a center point within yourself where you feel, or maybe even are just beginning to feel or open up to your own unique brand of magic. What is that for you right here and right now? There is no one correct answer. There's no multiple choice. It's an essay question. Fill in the blank. Receiving or expressing? The thing is, is that you can choose both, depending upon where you're at, what you're working on, what you're moving through, what you're facing in your life at any given moment. So right here, right now, are you on the receiving place with your relationship with magic? Or are you on the, the side of the essence of the expression of magic? So do you have some ideas, some things that you've been pondering, some things that you've been working on creating either for your business or your job or in your home? Maybe you're redecorating. Maybe you're working on a novel. Working with some creative art form or expression of your essence. Or perhaps you are right here, right now at a point of receiving. With your full awareness of your heart, the magic of energy is ever present. It's always here. Now, the level or the volume of it will change and adjust depending upon how you are moving through your day, how you are moving through the world, how you are choosing to interact or engage. Your ability to receive is connected fully at your heart space, your heart chakra, is a place that offers ample opportunity for gathering. In fact, I often will compare the heart chakra to Grand Central Station. I've been there once in my life and it was busy. This huge echoing stadium-like place with marble walls, columns on the walls and marble floors and people fancy, dressed so fancy, rushing from here to there. That is kind of how our heart space feels and looks when you're looking at it from a psychic perspective or a clairsentient perspective as an empath, for example. Receivership is really important when it comes to the concept of magic. 
So magic isn't something that is only for alchemists or people who practice specific art forms or expressions of alchemy or manifestation. Magic is for those who want to be part of a positive potential of hope and a community that shares the common ground of this heart space. The communication that occurs between human beings through that energetic space of the heart, through through the multiple channels of the heart space, this is where the magic is exchanged. It moves about freely. It moves into new and different and creative spaces in your life and in the lives that you touch of others as well. So you as a receiver, as a center point, as a gathering place in your heart space, can utilize and and even resource the magic that is available to you as you are receiving it. When it comes in, you make it into whatever is appropriate for your need based on the moment in time. Now, as we shift into the concept of expression, I am very aware of that low belly, that spirit chakra, the solar plexus, that golden yellow sun chakra and its ally, the womb space, the sacral chakra, the divine feminine embodiment of strength here, deep and low, like a well of magic within you. This is the essence of who you are. This is the place that continues to curate this beautiful cycle and repurposing of energy, providing for magic to come from seemingly out of nowhere at times or in the smallest of moments or places through a memory, an image, a wisp of air, a beam of light, in your conscious and cognizant mind, or in your dream state. Magic is imbued within you. It is part of who you are. So you see, when you are able to receive in the heart space magic through others and their expressions, when you can receive that, you amplify that in this Grand Central Station area of the heart and all, all become productive, all become purposeful and meaningful. And so too then, you have the opportunity to harmonize that energy, blend it into your solar plexus, into your sacral chakra, your divine feminine womb space, and then too, through you and your experience, magic permeates into all the aspects of your day-to-day life. It's not just for your psychicness. It's not just for your intuition. It is for all parts of you, human and spirit. Magic. Your own special brand of magic. Hmm. All right, my dears. Well, there you be. There's your conversation, your Sunday morning coffee coffee conversation. I'd like to say I'm glad to be back from the magic, but the truth is I am the magic. It is with me. It is in my heart. It is in my soul. And it is growing and swirling within my sacral womb space as well. My divine feminine is active and activated and so very, very inspired from my recent journeys and my travel experiences in the most magical place on earth. Well, for some of us anyway, that is. And if you're interested in catching up on my trip, go ahead and check out my Instagram page, Bridget Inspired. Bridget Inspired on Instagram. I posted a bunch of pictures from August 7th through the 12th. 
You can also catch up on Fairy Grasshopper, my YouTube channel, where I share a few vlogs and some live streams that I did while I was away. Those of you who joined me on my live streams at Bridget Inspired on Facebook, thank you so much for that. I will also be uploading and sharing those back on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube as well. I hope I've inspired your spirit today with some of the, this magic talk, filled you with some hope, and encouraged you to live your life. Oh, it's your life after all. This is your life. And you get to live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.